is Geneva, the seat of the League in Switzerland. It is situated by a lake through which flows the river Rhone, traversing the city on its way to the Mediterranean Sea. I'm sure you're like me. You can tell by all the anti-terrorism fixtures and the high security installations here at the League of Nations building at the United Nations complex in Geneva, Switzerland, that these people have really succeeded in their mission to ring in a new era of world peace. Sheila Gunn Reid for Rebel News and I'm here in Geneva, Switzerland. I'm standing in front of the United Nations complex. That's the League of Nations building behind me. You see, Sarah Miller and I have successfully completed the hand delivery of our complaint to the Human Rights Council on the treatment of political dissidents in Canada. Opposition to the government has been criminalized in Canada. Bank accounts have been seized, pastors arrested, and political protesters, peaceful ones, incarcerated for weeks on end. You can support our mission by going to humanrightscomplaint.com. But this bizarre Art Deco cathedral to globalism behind me has never stopped an atrocity unfolding in the world since it was first constructed to house the League of Nations after World War I, while Americans were building the Chrysler Building and the Empire State Building as testaments to the accomplishments of individual men and technology and freedom and capitalism. And they were building those testaments with their own money. Globalists were building with tax dollars what they thought would be the capital of the world, the new world. This soulless, boring and imposing building is like a flea market knockoff of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The building here, the Palace of Nations, was finished just in time for the kickoff of World War II and the Holocaust. The building actually reminds me of those foreboding Art Deco buildings from Ghostbusters or Rosemary's Baby that were designed to funnel evil powers to evil people in pursuit of power. Now, I'm not saying that's what's happening here. I'm just saying that very little good has come from the United Nations, though they say they are a force for good. For example, right across the street from the Palace of Nations is a massive art installation. It's called the Broken Chair. The sculpture is meant to draw attention to the use of landmines in conflicts. Now, it was erected in 1997, and yet still China and Russia and Pakistan continue to be countries planting the most landmines in the world each and every year. This building here has yet another planned renovation and refurbishment underway, and that's supposed to wrap up sometime in 2023, you know, sometime after the Russian war on Ukraine ends. Or maybe by the time the United Nations rotates Iran off the Women's Rights Council. This building here was built by powerful people to occupy for themselves in perpetuity, to ring in world peace, but really, They've done nothing but ignore atrocities, and that's not the same as atrocities never happening. This began as the Palace of Nations, and it's finishing as a hostel for hypocrites. Building yourself a castle does not make you a king. For Rebel News in Geneva, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Human rights lawyer Sarah Miller and I flew all the way from Canada to hand deliver a meticulously crafted human rights complaint to the human rights Council to draw attention to the treatment of political dissidents in Canada, to support our trip here, and to see all of our filings, please go to humanrightscomplaint.com.